So Pedro, let's see. Let's start with grammar. You put your links here. You practiced modal verbs uh, to yeah. make deductions. Yeah, in the yeah. past. About the past. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you used British Council, and the other one is EC English. All right. Did you do exercises too? Yeah, yeah, the exercise uh -huh. there is it's okay. I uh -huh. didn't have any problem. Oh, nice. I think Good. this one is past, past deductions. I think it's easier than the present. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, it could be. Sometimes okay. it happens. So tell me, is it easy to explain to? What do you think? Yeah, I think it's okay. No problem. Uh, okay. So there's this models is talking about making past deductions or speculation like I saw in a, in a video on YouTube mm -hmm. uh, uh, how certain we are about past events mm -hmm. and there are three ways to use mm -hmm. uh, we can use must but plus perfect infinitive the perfect infinitive is have plus past participle for example have done have been have stolen uh, and must plus perfect infinitive we use when we are sure about something in the past. Mm -hmm. So, for example, here. Oh, no. Where is my car? Someone must have stolen it. Mm -hmm. You're quite sure this happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, another example. I must have left my keys in the car. I can't find them. Mm -hmm. that's, so, the, like, that's the only possibility. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah right. uh, the other way, it's using might. May could plus perfect infinitive and we use it when we think something was possible but we aren't sure mm -hmm. it's a possibility that something happened so we are uh, less sure and uh, different things could have happened yes yeah. so what do we uh, do? for example he should be here by now mm -hmm. he may have been delayed by a traffic jam or something Mm -hmm. So this so, is a possibility. Uh huh. Go ahead. Yeah, maybe he is delayed because of the traffic. The person mm -hmm. that say that don't know exactly. Yeah, and the person even says he may have been delayed by traffic by a traffic jam, or something. Yeah. So or something a, similar or something else. There is a doubt, right? There is a doubt, and other things could have happened. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the other way is using can't plus perfect uh -huh. infinitive. It's when we choose about something didn't happen in the past. Mm -hmm. So we sure that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I can't have left in the supermarket market. I had it on the bus on the way home. Mm -hmm. So the person knows that it she didn't uh, left in the supermarket. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting because when we are sure about something in the past, when we are sure that something happened, we use must. Yeah. When we are sure that something didn't happen, we use can't. Did yeah. you notice that? Yeah, yeah. So if you're sure something happened, happened, you use must. Something must have happened. If you're sure something didn't happen, you use can't. It can't have happened. Yeah. And if you are in exactly. doubt, you use might, may, or could. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's it. I think you, there is an exercise here and mm -hmm. was okay just to fill the blank. Right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah, same explanation here. Are the examples the same? <laughs> no, they're different. No, right? no, there is some. They're different. different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good, Pedro. Okay, so if you don't have any comments or questions, let's move on to pronunciation. Okay. Okay, so you watch this video. How to end a world in N or Ng, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Rachel explained uh, how to, sh to identify the difference between the sounds of N and Ng. In, right? é porque o som é o som é n n n, n e nga nga nga, nga. Né? These are yeah. the sounds. D nga. 
sound mm -hmm. we can identify that the tongue is back in the mouth mm -hmm. the, and the mouth is a little dark yes she, she, she showed here and yeah. the mm, sound the tongue is raised behind the teeth so we can mm -hmm. see the, the the tongue behind the teeth and it's yeah seeing this detail it's easy to to maybe to identify but in the the speaking it isn't so easy i think T to make the sound yeah uh, to identify when the person is saying something yeah but i don't think it's a good idea to try to identify when the person is speaking when the person yeah. is speaking we should relax uh I, when I, I, i'm i'm saying that when we are having a conversation maybe it's yeah, uh, it's, it's it's difficult so because it's, it isn't so easy to identify the the sound. Uh -huh. But do you mean we can misunderstand something? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, but in that case, you ask for clarification, and the person will say it's lower, and then you can notice it better, right? Yeah. So, in this case, but that's why it's important to get acquainted with the phonetic symbols and. Uh, yeah use them here oh these are the different oh, words you already put them here right with the symbols yeah, yeah? but it's breaking up win uh-huh ten yes song feeling on uh-huh fun long sing mm -hmm. done strong and fine yeah. When you say the words, do you notice the difference? Yeah, I think I can notice in in my throat. I don't know. The, yes. I can feel when, it. Uh, when do you feel your throat? In what situation? When the ing. The, 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 the strong. Ing. Ing. Uh, strong. Yeah. strong. Oh. With the symbol, right? We do that with yeah. the throat. The throat yeah. kind of closes. And the tongue raises at the back, so strong, sing, lung. And it's different because when the word ends in N, the tip of the tongue touches the roof of the mouth, right behind the front teeth. So fun, fun, on, tan, right? So it's practice. It takes practice and observation, but the sounds are different. Uh, by um, the way, the word lung is uh, pulmon, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. What about the other words? Do you know what they mean? I think I don't know. I think I don't know. Wing and ten. Ten. I don't know. These okay, words. so let's get ten here. Let me show you in the Google images. I wish I, I put on Google, but I forgot the mean. This is a ten. A ten, ten is when we... Our skin gets darker because of mm -hmm. the sun. Oh, okay. You go to the beach. And okay. uh, this, sorry? Okay, okay. Okay. And the other one is wing. Wing? Wing. Like yeah. That? Okay. This, these are wings. Ah, okay. Remember? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Anything else? No, okay. That's it. The other ones are okay. Yes. Easy, basic words. Very nice. Any comments? Any other comments? No, it's okay. No. So, I would recommend uh, paying attention when you're watching a movie or a TV show mm. because then you can rewind, watch again many times and okay. see if you can notice the difference. Because yeah, by the way, uh -huh. by the way uh, this week I was trying to to watch uh, Stranger Things with oh, yeah. English subtitles and I was nice. trying to identify that. <laughs> nice, yes, yes, do that because it's better. When you're talking to someone, I don't know, we, we don't really pay attention to those details, right? Because we want to connect, we want to, to understand what the other yeah. person is saying, right? <laughs> so it's hard. This challenge, I think he, we are communicating a in a good way, maybe we are not paying attention in mistakes. Yes, and yes, something. yes, okay. yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Because when we are talking to, with each other, we are using <coughs> everything we know. Yeah. <laughs> the pronunciation knowledge, the, all, all the different types of knowledge, pronunciation, grammar, everything. But 
if if we want to improve something, do, if during the conversation you feel like, oh my God, my prepositions are all over the place, leave it for after the conversation. After the conversation, you do your research, your practice, you do online exercises, watch videos on YouTube, you know, write down. I do this a lot at my classes, um, in my classes at Cambly. I'm always writing down some things that I want to, <laughs> to look up afterwards, you know, mm -hmm. in the dictionary and uh, do uh, some kind of research. So oh, okay. uh, I think it's better to relax, to relax uh, when we are talking to someone else and pay attention and really listen. Today it's so hard to really, really listen to people and people love when we do that. So, yeah. you know, this is connection. And leave the, the, um, how can I say that? Yeah, these things for later, for after the conversation. Mm, okay. Yeah. Right? right. So, stories now. I added here, Pedro, something that you already do. Step six is record yourself. You're already doing that with the challenge. You were doing that before. You yeah. have an Instagram account. Uh, so I, I really like this kind of practice. Mm -hmm. But let's see the first. Do you want to follow this sequence? Yeah. Would you yeah. like to follow this one? So let's start with BBC English at Work, episode 35. Um, Lost in France. Yeah. <laughs> Language for briefing the manager. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, Anna and Tom, they had to stay in France because of their flights that was canceled. Mm -hmm. And because of that, Tom uh, in, would like to enjoy the moment and he invites Anna to get a drink and enjoy the French hospitality. Okay, so, nice. So, uh, yeah, and they go to a to a pub, I think. Uh, pub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and there, Tom uh, prefers beer. He asks for a, a drink, beer. Mm -hmm. And Anna prefers orange juice. Okay. Uh, and uh, meanwhile, Anna wants to keep Paul in Paul in the picture. This is the the expression that they use. Uh, yeah. Keep Paul in the picture. Uh, uh -huh. I think it's. The meaning is uh, keep Paul uh, knowing the thing, what happened, right? Uh, oh, yeah, and Paul, she because Anna is with Tom. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, keep him in the picture, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and she makes a phone call to give good news and explain the situation to Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, and Anna explains that they've closed the deal and need to proceed with the order. The mm -hmm. And she wants to send the what the the company bought to the the fast way uh, as as fast as they can right i can say that uh, uh, or as quickly as possible as quickly as possible as right. fast as possible as soon as possible right asap asap ah, okay. as soon as possible mm -hmm. okay so uh anna said that she needs help Mm -hmm. uh, and Paul suggests Tom because they have a special chemistry. <laughs> it's because Denise said to Paul that Tom and Anna maybe they are having something. Maybe ah, they are there is something okay yeah. going on. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Paul said they have a special chemistry. So uh, chemistry. chemistry, chemistry, right? Yes. Uh, meanwhile, Tom says to Anna that he booked on room to them. So because of that, she's embarrassed. Uh huh. Of course. She, she, yeah, she'd like a, a, another room, right? Uh huh. Uh yeah, and the episode is basically that. Uh, and they uh, showed some phrases. There are some phrases from the program. Mm -hmm. For example, it's good news. I close the deal with, and the contract is signed. Mm -hmm. We need to proceed with the order as quickly as possible. I'm committed to getting the order delivered on time, but I will need some help. Mm -hmm. uh, but way, Erica, I think I uh, I noticed that Anna, in the pronunciation here, she said signet. I don't know if I'm really. I'm yeah. Um, I, yeah, I would have to. 
Do you know at what point she says that? It's when they have the they are sitting in the in the pub. And they try to speak French. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See this. Maybe she didn't say signed, but signed or something like that. Yeah, it's something different. Yeah. <laughs> it might be her accent. Yeah, they are from. They are. The site is British, right? It's British, yeah, but it shouldn't sound different from signed. Let me let me find this word here first. Sign. Mm, okay, they're going to call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's right now. Okay. Okay, the guy, the narrator, narrator, oh my god, narrator said signed. Signed, right. But I don't know what's on. And it's... Let's see. Insert a phone. I think it's right now. Yeah. She said signed. Signed, huh? Yeah, I know. the contract is signed. Okay. Uh, I was going to ask. What was it? Oh, just uh, quickly, because I always get this wrong. This pronunciation here. I mm. know that it's not a uh, narrator. Narrator. <laughs> narrator. I always. Mm -hmm. uh, mispronounced this. Okay, so um, anything else? Any other new words? No, I think it's okay. This one, I have problems with the the words. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And what about the question? The question is, what does Anna want to drink at the bar? This is easy. Yeah, it's uh, orange juice. Orange juice. Yes, very good. Okay, and what do you think of the episode? Uh, what yeah. do you think? Uh. I think Tom is, uh, he is, hopes that something will happen. I don't know. <laughs> he wants maybe having a date with Anna, and uh -huh. she's embarrassed because of that. Yeah. yeah you no. Know. <laughs> Peter, I just I just saw this here. Anna or Anna, she says, "Oh, I've lost the signal." Signal. É, tá vendo que são duas palavras diferentes. Essa aqui é ah, assinar, okay, então assinar o contrato, to uh -huh. sign. Né? So let's take a look at the ah, symbols okay, here. Okay, it. so acho que foi isso. To sign yeah. and signal. Signal é sinal, perdi o sinal. Ah, tá, tá diferente. It. It's not signed. I'd like é, to ask about the yeah. one. I think that's it. So to sign, this is the verb, okay? To sign okay. a contract and signal. Yeah, that's it. Signal is like the telephone yeah, signal. Okay. okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So let's move on. Let me close all these tabs. Uh, okay. I need to correct these texts, but I will okay. correct them later. Let's see the, okay. the next one, Pedro. The next one is six minute English. Okay. Uh, yeah. Women's football. Oh, good. I read this one too. So, uh, recently the FIFA Women's World Cup happened in France. Mm -hmm. I think this episode was happened during the, the World Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, and this episode shows the rise in the popularity of female only football. Female, yeah. Female, oh, yeah, uh, very good. Uh, and like they said, it was great that now the teach channels are doing the mad live on TV, for example, mm -hmm. Brazilian girls was, was 
working here, but unfortunately they didn't they didn't go ahead and work up. Mm -hmm. But they they lost the match for two friends. <laughs> the, ah, okay, the, but but the team was doing well, right? With Marta. Marta is a good yeah. player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Uh and as they said, well, now I think the women's soccer is raising. They, we can see it on TV. We can see people talking a lot about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and on this episode, the writer Jima Clark, I think, mm -hmm. said it happened. Be okay, sorry. Uh, uh, in first of that, uh, in the past, women were prohibited for playing soccer, like mm -hmm. they said. In, I think. In, in the Second World War, I think they were prohibited for playing soccer. And the writer Gemma Clark says it happened because the men's football association were they are they were worried because they thought that women doing so well and they thought that it might take money and supportance away from the men's game. So yes, <laughs> <laughs> they are. I could say they are. Jealous, I could say. Kind of, yes. Kind yes. of, yeah. <laughs> uh, and now, uh, women's soccer is growing again and attracting more and more attention and partnerships. And I mm -hmm. think it's if in the future we can see uh, a lot of games on TV and maybe the the number of fans of women's soccer will uh, increase a lot. I think. This is very interesting. You like soccer, right? I don't. Yeah, I love. Uh, it. Yeah, I don't watch soccer, so I just saw some headlines uh, connected with this topic on the news. Yeah, uh, by the way, there's a a play from the U.S. The uh -huh. Rapino, I think the name of the the player. Uh -huh. She was having problems with Donald Trump. Uh -huh. Yeah, they. She. She, she doesn't agree with the with Donald Trump's ideas, uh, okay. and she said that if the U.S. Uh, uh, win the, the World Cup, she wouldn't go to house. And the U.S. won the, the World Cup, and she really didn't go there. She, I think she had problems if. Uh, his brother, or in uh, with uh, I think he problems with the prejudice. I think uh -huh. so. She was protesting. Yeah, she yeah Protest. exactly. She was protesting. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, and uh, what and what do you think about this? So uh, since you like soccer, what <clears throat> what do you think about women playing soccer? About the amount of games we get to watch. Uh, I think I think it's it's uh, for nowadays it's different from men soccer. I think. Mm -hmm. In men what ways? Are, I think it's because men have more more clubs, more teams here in Brazil to play. Uh -huh. I think it's uh -huh. one uh -huh. one thing. Uh, uh -huh. And maybe the 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 girls have no support they mm -hmm. they have to struggle a lot because mm -hmm. with that mm -hmm. and now it, but i hope that in the future uh women would have a lot of supporters a lot of fans i think it would be really important mm -hmm. so you like the idea right yeah yeah that everybody can play <laughs> not just the yeah. men <laughs> yeah exactly okay cool very nice what about the new words, Pedro, the vocabulary? Yeah, and the, so yeah, I saw that you, some... you will use the word struggle. Yeah, Very struggle. nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, for example, you have to have an agency. I yeah, what does it mean to yeah. have agency? Uh, they said it being able to act independently and make your own choice. Maybe uh, the women's uh, would could be the women's soccer could be independent of the men's soccer. Would yeah. be, they could have more supporters, I think. This is a good it. example. This is a good example. But to have agency is it can be used in any situation to me, not just in women's soccer, right? But yeah. it can be used to talk about acting independently. 
like to be mm. to to make your own choices yeah, and okay. it's not like someone is making the choices for you uh, okay okay like for example oh, your mother makes your the, your own choices for you if she does that you have no agency uh, okay so to have agency means I make my own choices. Nobody else makes my choices oh, and okay. I act independently. This is what I actually want the students to do, <laughs> to have <laughs> agency, to act independently, to be exactly what you do, uh, to be yep. proactive, have initiative and things like that. So, so that's to have agency. That's what it means. What about backlash? Uh, backlash is... They said it's a strong negative reaction to something. Uh, I actually I heard this word before the, this episode, mm -hmm. and it was related to something of a machine. Mm. It's it's a kind of I could say it's a kind of space in the in the machine that causes problems. Oh really? Yeah, in Portuguese, folga. Ah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if um yeah this this, ah, this, this, this I first, didn't know yeah. that wow yeah <laughs> I was okay I thought it was fantastic because it's related with mechanical engineering and I like it <laughs> ah, okay because I learned it uh I didn't learn this yeah I just learned the opposite and negative reaction but it, yeah. I didn't know it was connected to a to uh Machines, yeah. right? To machines. Interesting. Didn't know that. Okay. Dampen enthusiasm. Yeah, this one I never saw before. To make people less interested in something. Uh huh. Yeah. To ban. Nice, right? similar to Portuguese. Yeah, ban. Yeah, ban is okay. Yes, and the next and one, a concert concerted effort. Effort. Yeah. Effort. Yeah. Effort. Yeah. Effort. Effort. Yeah. Effort. effort. Okay. Uh -huh. Effort. To try hard to do something, right? Okay. Okay. Any comments, questions? Ah, there are other words here for uh -huh. me. It's uh -huh. panic head. Panic head is something it's panic. related to por panic. Uh, panic. Uh, uh, so this it's related stress to stress Portuguese. That's yes, it. it is. It is exactly that word. <laughs> so it's the the first syllable is the strongest, and we don't say the e. So it's panicked. Panicked. Yeah. Panicked. The, the verb is to panic. Okay, panic. And we say don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. If you have if you have a test, if you're facing a difficult situation, we say oh don't panic. Okay. Okay. What else? Uh, grounds is okay. It's, it's similar to floor, I could say. Association right? grounds, yes. I didn't quite understand this, but I mean I, I think it's like they're referring to the fields, right? Where yeah, people play I think that's soccer. It. Yeah. yeah, it could be. Uh-huh. And I don't know the pronounce is in ensure ensure right ensure how do you spell that ensure like that oh ensure yeah yeah ah, okay ensure ensure do you understand the meaning of this word it means to guarantee ah uh, yeah guarantee okay okay to make sure uh, we have sure Sure, right, and ensure. Yes, okay. to make sure. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. that's it. Very nice. So let's see another one. The next one is Arizona town was influential in Apollo moon missions. Yeah, this episode is a short one. It's a, uh -huh. it's a fat one. Uh, so it's related with the city of Flagstaff in northern Arizona. Okay. And this, this city is known as the place where NASA trained the astronauts to the Apollo program. Mm. Uh, there they use space cars and other situations to make a simulation of the, the moon. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and for example, even a crater, crater, right? Crater. 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 Yeah. On the moon was named in honor of the city. <laughs> the oh, <crater>. wow. <laughs> the name Flagstaff. <laughs> ah, okay. And NASA wants to send new astronauts to have training there. Uh -huh. I think it's a good place to train. I don't know. Uh, and there is a guy, Lauren Edgar, 
He said it, it would be pretty inspiring for for the new astronauts to, to be part of the to be uh, have training in the place that people that the other astronauts from Apollo program where they they trained right. I think he, as the guy said, it would be pretty yeah. inspiring for them. Pretty inspiring. Good job. Pretty inspiring. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the city is celebrating the fiftieth anniversary of the first moon landing. Fiftieth. Uh, fiftieth. Uh Fiftieth. Uh, I think it is here. It's, it's, uh, I think in July 20th. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. July 20th, 1969. July 20th. Yeah. It's when, when was the, the first, the first step on the moon. I think. On the moon. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. yeah, I, I, by the way, I, I don't know if I saw in, in uh, some news about it. I think they, they ha want to, to send, new astronauts to to the moon i think in 2022 i don't know i think i heard that too but i didn't stop to read the details so i don't know yeah. what their plans are i think it's shown on fan fantastic uh -huh. yeah and it will be fantastic i think i think it's, yeah, maybe it's connected with, with this anniversary maybe yeah oh but they want to do it in 20 in the future i don't know I yeah, I twenty twenty two. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't or know. I need to read more other. about it. Yeah. But very good. Uh, new <laughs> words that you learn here. Inspiring is a good one. Crater is a good one. Crater, yeah, it's crater. The mean it's okay, but the pronounce it's new for me. Mm -hmm. Crater. Crater. Mission, role. The other words are astrogeology, right? Astrogeology. astrogeology. Yeah. Distinguish and tracking. Yeah. All right. Very interesting. Any comments? Any other words? Uh, just uh, uh, as they they said here, uh, has deep ties. Deep ties. Deep ties. Yes. I nice. don't know. Ties is uh, gravata, right? É, mas onde você está deep ties, Xavier? In the the deep. I think in the first okay. phrase. It is interesting because the word ties appears uh, many times. So deep ties, aqui tie, é ligação, conexão. Então uh -huh. são ligações, é, ligações profundas. But tie so, é alone is gravata, right? É, não é só que é alone, não, porque tem um verbo to tie, ah, que é amarrar, okay. né? Amarrar. E, and here, this guy, they talk about a bolo tie. Aqui é gravata, né? It's a type of tie. So if you put here, I don't know. So uh, this type of tie uh, that okay. people use in Texas, yeah, in Arizona, oh, in Texas, boy. yeah. So if you ever wondered how to say this, how to call this thing, the <laughs> bolo tie, que é uma gravata, né? Because there is the the bow tie, a que a gente chama de borboleta, né? This is the bow tie. And the regular tie, so a regular tie yeah. is yeah. Uh, tie, but the bolo tie, I think it's typical of that area, and it's mm. tor tor oh my god pronunciation time. Turquoise, I think turquoise. Uh, yeah, tur turquoise. Yeah, exactly turquoise. turquoise. Yeah, they mentioned that. The turquoise yeah. bolo tie here, which is a kind of string worn around the neck. <laughs> it's common in the western half of the United States. Yeah, uh, it's, it's typical. Arizona, right? Yes, yes, people love it there. Men, right? Women, I don't know if they wear this, but women do. Uh, very interesting. Nice, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Okay, Pedro, we have time for more. Let's continue. The next one is Ted. Ted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one is how film transforms the way we see the world. Oh my God! Yeah, Every time you choose such uh, exciting, interesting articles, uh, talks. Yeah. I like mm -hmm. that. So what is? is I don't is know. This what the name. Difficult? Is this one yeah, difficult? Yeah, it's a little difficult, but I could understand the, the idea. Mm -hmm. I have time. Problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so the girl, the woman is Charmin Obayad Shinoi. I don't know. 
Where okay. is she from? Oh, I think she's where. from Paxton. I don't know. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So she shows how films transform the the way we see the world. She shows how women in many countries, especially Paxton, uh -huh. suffer with male violence and disrespect. Mm -hmm. uh, their women are punished because they choose to, to marry on their the word they use here on their own free will, or mm -hmm. who who are looking for a divorce or are suspected of having a, illicit relationships, mm -hmm. uh, and the name is the honor killings. So the the oh, men gosh. kill they used to kill. I don't know if it still happened there, but the men used to kill women that make this 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 choice I don't know. Uh and she said that she travels to to many countries to show what happens, to show kids and new women women, mm -hmm. even men, that it's possible to fight against the violence. Mm -hmm. uh, and as she said film can change the way people perceive honor killings. So mm -hmm show it's uh, something thing, something horrible uh -huh. uh, and she the the film show uh, how women are heroes how they they can be heroes and not victims and how to to ask for help how to access the police system uh -huh. uh, educating them about their rights so and she said too that because of the films now men who kill women in the name of honor receive life imprisonment Impri mm -hmm. imprisonment right imprisonment yes very good yeah and she said too that uh when she was traveling around the, for a lot of countries uh she traveled to a small village, small cities in mm -hmm. Pakistan and I think Syria too. Mm -hmm. And there, there, there are some some people that even they didn't have TV, they didn't have uh, they, so theater. So they didn't, they didn't even have. They didn't, they didn't even, even have, have television, movie uh, theater, uh -huh. movie theaters, and with this. Uh, by the way, she, I think she built a, a truck with a, a, how to say, a, a moving, a, a screen, a mobile, yeah, a, a mobile, mobile screen. cinema, mobile a screen. mobile, yeah, the truck is the mobile cinema, right? She yeah, can take yeah, it exactly. all over the, the country. And with this truck, she can access uh, different countries, different communities. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Pedro. Hello, you're back. I can listen. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's so, breaking a, breaking up a little bit. Uh-huh, go ahead. With the films, she can show the women to uh, be, have, say, have science, their rights, have science there. How to say ter ciência? Ter ciência? Uh, to have, to be aware, to yeah, become okay, aware. Yeah. Yeah, to become the women to become aware of uh -huh. the their rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I think so it's fantastic. It's really important to show mm -hmm. the women that they are able to fight against the yeah. violence. Here she's talking about women, but what she's saying is that the movies have this educational role, right? An educational yeah. role. What do you think of this educational role? Do you think? Do you think it can change people? Because people uh, watch movies know. all the time and these movies try to, usually to to convey a positive message. Do you think people learn something from these movies? They become better people? 
because they are learning. People mm. from other countries. I don't know how their countries work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's breaking a little bit, tá falhando um pouco a conexão, mas eu entendi que você achou importante, né? It's it's important uh, this role, educative role, educational role is important in the movies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pedro, do you have, did you find, of, of course, you found a lot of new words here. A lot of here. words, yeah. Uh, can yeah. you mention, like, in the name, three words? Yeah. Or less, uh, I don't know, fewer than that. Uh, for example, jolt. jolt. Jolt, what does it mean to jolt? Uh, I think it's sacudir. Yeah, not sacudir, exactly. To shake, mm -hmm. no? because she yeah. says jolt, yeah. shake. Shake them into having difficult uh, conversations, not beat around the bush anymore. Yeah, yeah. so jolt, yes. There is one more uh, loop, loophole. Loophole, loop yes, I like that hole. one. Mm -hmm. What is a loophole? Yeah. Uh, it's a space, it's a, bre a brecha. <laughs> a brecha. Brecha, yes. And this term is very common in law, no direito. And because people are always trying to find a loophole in the law, uma brecha nas leis, para poder quebrar, né? To break the laws. So it's not that they break the laws. People don't break the law. That's exactly what they want to do. They don't want to break the law. They want, mm. they want to find a loophole. Oh, um buraco okay. ali, uma, uma parte que a lei não cobriu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, usually to gain ad an advantage, right? They do that. Loophole is an, an important word. What else? Another one? And uh, pundits. Pundits. Pundits, yes. Specialists, the, right? Yes, yes. Specialists. Yeah. yeah. Very good, Pedro. Pundits yeah. is a good word when it's election time. You know, oh. so people use it a lot in on the news. Pundits. Mm, okay. okay. I don't know if we have time. We have only one minute for the last one, which is all yours English. What is the uh, basic this one idea? Is about <laughs> uh, Live free or die? Show. Ah, the fourth yeah, of July. So uh huh. important for the coach. Uh, what do they typically do on the fourth yeah. of July? What do the yeah. Americans usually do? Uh, they like to have time with family and friends. Uh, mm -hmm. Celebrate with a lot of barbecues and. Yeah fireworks and, exactly and have yeah. fun and show kids how it was how this day is important for their the country and their culture yeah it's definitely a part of their culture it's interesting because we celebrate our independence in a different way <laughs> yeah it's we i think we should try it this way but i i don't know if it happens <laughs> follow the example and do something similar yeah. They are very proud of their country. I don't know if Brazilians are so proud <laughs> of the country. The country itself, we should be proud about, proud of. I think we should. I'm proud of the place and the people. But of course, you know, we always think about the politics and this is really bad, right? And uh, it deflates our pride. Uh, politicians tend to do that so it's sad but yes we should be proud of we have a beautiful country we live on a beautiful in a beautiful country the people are wonderful in general but uh, we have these problems right political problems economic problems yeah. but every country has that too so uh, yeah we, we should not take it for granted né? Tomar por garantido, né? we should not I don't think we should take it for granted. We should celebrate it. Yeah, it's nice. Pedro, wonderful work. Again, um, we, you spoke just a little bit about this one. I need to check to correct your text. I'll try to do that. But you did a 
Very, very good job. Wonderful job again. So that's it for today. We'll stop here. Thank you so much for letting me record the class. And that's it. I hope you have a good weekend and I'll see you next time. Okay? Bye-bye, <laughs> Pedro.